Hello, lei ho, it's Virginia, Virginia Chan from Humid with a Chance of Fishfuls. And today, I have a guest, Kitty! Hi guys, I'm Kitty, I'm a fashion illustrator here in Hong Kong. Thanks so much for inviting me. Thanks for being here. <laughs> and today, we're going to be doing something super cool. We're making lanterns! Fish lanterns! Ta-da! How come fishes are so popular during Chinese New Year's? Well, not only are they cute, but there's a Chinese phrase called Li Li Niao Yu. So I mean, every year there's something left over because Yu, fish, is the same sound as the word for like plenty. And if you're interested more about the symbolism of Chinese New Year's, we have a video for that and I'll link it up here somewhere. The equipment you need are... You'll need 10 envelopes, scissors, a stapler, or you could use glue or double-sided tape. As optional things, you can have ribbon to hang your fish and googly eyes, or you can just draw them on. In terms of the lucky envelopes, we recommend it not being too hard like this one. It's really hard to make things with it. You'll need different types of envelopes. When you put them all together, it makes a really beautiful pattern. You'll need two for the head, four for the body, two for the butt part, and then two for the tail. This is going to be my color combination. So get your color combination before you start. I can't take credit for this idea. I actually looked at two different videos, which I'll link down below for the inspiration. There are two different varieties. My fish. Charlie, uh, he doesn't have like the Nemo fins, but Kitty's fish, he's got some little fins on the top and the bottom. So we'll be doing both varieties and you can pick whichever one you like. I like hers better. And the grass is always greener on the other side, so I like hers more. <laughs> you pick your own. Step number one. Measure. And cut all of the lucky envelopes to 13 centimeters in length. We're not really sure why 13 centimeters, but I think it just makes the perfect proportion. So cut everything to 13 centimeters. Step two. For simplicity's sake, we're gonna fold them all in a similar way. And when we go to make the body, we'll just let you know the flaps need to go in or out. This is the in. best way we could find it. This part is on the outside. We're gonna turn it over and we are gonna fold it vertically in half. This is called hot dog style when I was in elementary school. We want it hot dog style. <laughs> Next, what you wanna do is you wanna open it back up and then you wanna fold the corners inwards halfway. Like so, and do it for the other side. Ta-da! Now do it for the other envelopes. <laughs> Dot the inside, and we're gonna put this on top. And what we're gonna do is staple this corner with this corner, and staple this corner with this corner. And we'll staple this flap. And remember, it kind of just goes on top. We'll staple this flap. And then once we've done that, it kind of makes a little mo. Step number four, let's assemble the body. Body, adi, adi. First, we'll need the head. Make sure the crease is going horizontal. And we'll need four pieces of the body. One, two, three, and four. And notice that the body envelopes are going vertical. We don't want to have them horizontal like this. Vertical. When we staple and glue, we always want to go flap to flap. So I'll show you the back for a reference. So there's these four flaps. Each flap would go with the corresponding envelope. So this flap and this flap. And now they're on. Next, we'll do this flap to this flap. And this one. And as you can see, the envelopes are still vertical. Now we're gonna staple this one to this flap here. Last one, it'll be this flap here 
with this flap in the inside. So just grab them, put them together, flip it, and tape them. Now we've got all the vertical flaps for the body. Yay! <laughs> The body is still flat, so we need to make them 3D. And to do that, we're gonna have to put this flat with this flat. These two flaps. I'm holding it and turning it to show you. So it's this flap and this flap here. And now he's 3D. Ta-da! Continuation of the body, we've made it 3D, now we gotta make the fins. fins. Friendly reminder, the fish is still horizontal to you. It's these flaps on the top of the body, we're gonna have to fold it out. Fold it out like this. And then also the bottom of the body also have fins. So we'll have to fold the flap out and the flap out here. And we're gonna put them together. So the fin here, we'll staple together. So where the crease is, just put a staple. And this is the top fin. So now the top has a little fin that sticks up so you can swim. Now let's do the bottom. So we've already folded the fins out and we'll put them together. Where the crease is, we'll put a staple. Now he's got a top fin and a bottom fin. All right, this is where we're gonna split off. If you're interested in like tiny fin Nemo style flaps here, you will actually pop them out like this. One that's more streamlined without tiny fin. And that just means you keep the flaps tucked in like currently. We're gonna make the mouth again. Got the inside and we're gonna put this on top. And what we're gonna do is staple this corner with this corner and staple this corner with this corner. We've got another head, but now it's gonna be the butt. This is my head, right? Do you see how the seam here is horizontal or parallel to the table? But we're gonna actually make it so the seam is not parallel, but it's gonna be on the top. So the slit here is going to be facing the top. We're just gonna connect them like so. I'm gonna choose the first one here to staple first because it's the easiest for me. So right here, these two. There you are. Now we're gonna continue with the rest of the four. Then this is the third one. It will become increasingly more difficult, so you might even consider doing it on the outside or using double-sided tape. <laughs> Don't worry if that happens, you can just puff it back out. We're gonna have the body, and also this is the butt envelope. And we wanna remember to have the envelope vertical. So the flaps will be here and here. And because we wanna have little fins out, we're gonna fold them out. And same with the body. So the bottom flap, we're gonna have to take that out. The top flap, we'll also have to take that out. And the top flap of the butt, will have go in with the top flap of the body. Remember, the fins have to stay out. So fin to fin. And at the crease, we'll put a staple. Put them together. Remember, the fins have to stick out. And staple. So this is one side of the fish. Can't forget his other side. So we're gonna do the same thing. The butt lysi is vertical side up. 
So the flaps are here and here, and we folded them out. And same with the body. The bottom body flap, we gotta fold out. The top body flap, we have to fold out as well. But remember, the fins are out, and we'll staple them. Same with the bottom. The body and the bottom. Flaps are out. Ta-da! So we just wanna manipulate and fold it so it looks a little more 3D. Same with this side. And here we are. And look at his cute little fins here. Step number six, we're almost done. We gotta do the tails. This is our Lysi envelopes with the flaps going towards us. So we'll take the flaps closest to us. These two, we'll staple them here. And simply fold down the top here. On same with the other side, fold it down. And we have our beautiful little tail now. We can also staple this down. We got the tail. And now time to put it with the body. We're almost there, we've got the tail. We just have to put it to the body. Simply stick the tail in and give it a good staple on the top. And another one on the bottom. Ta-da! Yay! We'll take the tooth, the, the, the open edge, and just put them flaps inside. This is easy because we'll just staple from the outside. Same with the bottom edge. Two flaps facing each other, staple. And now we have a little pocket, and this is where the tail will go. Just slot it in here. You can put in a little staple. Now we've got a fish. We're almost there. Here are the optional things to deck out your fish. My fish is Charlie. He's got to have some eyes. You can either draw it on or I have some googly eyes. Now, Kitty has a trick or a recommendation for you. At first, we were doing them and then we just put them, the eyes on randomly and then we're like, oh no, he looks super cross-eyed. So the best way is to just look at your fish Look at your fish. There. Now he's super cute. Ta-da! And finally... Wait, how are we going to hang these up? Ribbon! Ooh. Take one side of the ribbon, and he's got two holes here. So loop it through. She means the top. And now it's like this. And you can hang it up, and you just have to take the two ends. Just tie a normal dead knot. Woohoo! <laughs> I'm sure there are a lot of different ways. I just basically hooped the ribbon through and then tied it at the bottom. Ta -da. Li -li -yao -yi. <laughs> and that concludes the video. I hope you enjoyed. And hey, don't forget to give Kitty some love. So I'm on Instagram if you want to follow me at Kitty and Wong. So Kitty and for Nancy and W-O-N-G. So when I'm not here making fish lanterns with Virginia. I paint fashion illustrations and illustrations uh, that feature Hong Kong. So come check it out. Hey, but well, wait. What's the weather like in Hong Kong? Well, really it's humid. Humid with a chance of fish balls. Till next time, jogging. So we'll just tie a knot. We'll put two, two ribbons together and just tie a normal knot like that. Wait, but isn't it supposed to go on your fish? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the bottom of your fish. <laughs> oh, <no! laughs> Bro, I can see the <laughs> What's the weather like in Hong Kong? Well, humid. Like, humid. With a chance of meatballs. Fish balls. <laughs> <laughs>